What is a factor and do you need one for your fashion design startup? Hi guys, I'm Shama Maher, CEO of Scaling Retail, and working with a factor is a question that we get asked often. Now, sometimes factors get confusing, right? Is the factor the bank? Is the factor funding your production? What exactly is the factor? Before we launch into that, a factor plays such a key role in your payment processing. Now, as a fashion business startup, chances are you are figuring out your payment terms. Now, this is very important because once you get an order placed with a retailer, you have to dictate and work with them on your payment terms. Those payment terms could be anywhere from, I get paid 30 days after the product arrives to the retailer, to I get 50% down when the order gets placed, 50% when the product gets shipped to the retailer, to net 14, which is I ship the goods to the retailer and they pay me 14 days after I send them the invoice. So how you set up your payment terms will largely determine the need for a factor. Because what a factor does is it basically is the chaser and chases around your retailers in order to get them to pay their invoices. In fact, with a factor, you're essentially selling them the actual invoice. So let's say, for example, Saks Fifth Avenue places an order with me for $50,000 worth of goods. Well, what I end up doing is basically selling that purchase order to the factor who says, okay, for a certain percentage, a certain amount of fees, I am going to be responsible for collecting those goods, collecting those receipts from Saks Fifth Avenue. So you, the brand, or me, the brand, I don't have to worry about whether or not I'm actually getting paid. Now, this is very important because a lot of different retailers are notorious for not paying on time, not paying fully, finding different ways of doing chargebacks, etc. And so when it comes to actually getting a factor that comes on board, the factor is going to make sure that that wholesale account is actually factorable, meaning that they can actually chase that account, that that account is in good standing. Now, those of you guys may have heard in the past, companies like Neiman Marcus not being factorable or Saks not being factorable or Barney's New York not being factorable. And that simply means that these third party factors, which are essentially money holding, right? They're not, they're not the bank and they're not a credit card company, but these are the guys who are actually buying your receipts and chasing after it from the retailers. Sometimes these retailers are not factorable, meaning they're not paying on time, meaning that they're not actually paying at the rate that they say that they're going to. So do you need a factor when you're starting off? No, you don't. In fact, you may not even get the orders that justify getting a factor. You need to have substantial amount of business in order for a factor to consider you simply because they make their money off of a percentage of the total volume of what that order is. So if a factor is making a few percentage points and your order is $1,000, it may not be really within their scope or their energy to go chasing after a small boutique. So guys, getting a factor, really reserve that for when your business is growing, you're getting higher volume orders. Don't worry about it too much as a startup. Keep your eye on the prize, which is getting orders and even protect yourself by having better payment terms so you don't end up shooting yourself in the foot by not being able to produce what those orders are. If this stuff still complicates you, I get it. It's a complicated topic. When you come to work with a company like Scale and Retail, we unpack all of it and help you really design custom solutions to help you build scalable and sustainable businesses. Factors might be important for you at some time in your business. In fact, you may not use them at all depending on how big you want your business to grow. It's a personal decision really handled on a case-by-case -case basis. In the meanwhile, guys, please do leave us comments below. would love to hear how you're dealing with sourcing and funding for your business. And make sure you follow us at Scaling Retail on Instagram. We would love to engage with you, have fun, talk about retail, and help you build and grow an amazing retail business. Talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye.